Hi friends, welcome back to another Graphic Novels Out Loud with Miss Ashley from the Crystal Lake Public Library. Today I'm going to read to you another graphic novel through Hoopla, a service provided by the Crystal Lake Public Library. You can access it on your computer, through a website, or through your smart device with the Hoopla app. I am using the Hoopla app today. So one of the things um, about graphic novels is that they typically contain some or all of the following things. Panels, word balloons, sound effects, motion lines, narration, and background said. colors. And this is different than a regular, you know, book or an illustrated book, too. So one of the things I find fascinating by graphic novels is that there's really no single right way to read it. I mean, we're gonna read left to right, you know, top to bottom like that. But do you read it panel by panel? Do you read the pictures first and then the text? Do you read the text first and then the pictures? There's no single right way. And the last few graphic novels that I've read out loud for you, I was using a feature in the Hoopla app, which lets you focus in on each panel. Of the graphic novel which is how I like to read them and you can do that simply by double tapping the center of the page but today I'm going to read it um, without that feature so you can see all of the pages and panels um, at once okay let's get started with Dewdrop by Katie O'Neill and Dewdrop is a little axolotl and you can see there Dewdrop is taking a little nap. <gasps> but Dewdrop is awakened. You can see the little lines down in the bottom right hand corner. It looks like there's some noise that has woken him up. Okay, and what do we have going on? Looks like there are sports fair sign up. So that must be what the noise is. And this makes Dewdrop very excited. You can see the lines above him. Are you all going to enter the sports fair this year? And the turtle says, I'm going to enter the pebble throwing contest. And the newt says, they asked me to write a song to cheer everyone on. And the minnows say, we're in charge of food. It's our first time cooking for so many people. That's great. I'm working on a cheerleading routine, but I'll try to help you out too. <laughs> oh, there we go. Look at that. Mia the turtle is practicing strength. Newton the nude is practicing the song and the minnows are cooking up something tasty. And it looks like they're helping set up for the sports fair. Oh, look here though. Looks like Mia might be looking a little uncertain. The other athletes look so much stronger than me. Maybe there's no point in competing with them after all. Oh. And it looks like Newton is scrunching up some of the things that he's been doing. It feels like the more I try to write a song, the harder it is. Oh, I understand that feeling. And the minnows are cooking and chopping. And what if the food we usually make is too boring? Maybe we should try a new recipe. And we're back to Dewdrop, and he is doing his cheerleading routine. Ta-da! Wow, I am so good at cheerleading. Tomorrow, I'll go see if anyone else needs my help. I think they might. So the next day, Dewdrop goes to check in on Mia, and uh, Mia's struggling, and then she lifts ugh, over her head, and Dewdrop is clapping. Mia, lift me up like you used to do when we were small. So Mia lifts Dewdrop up and Dewdrop says, you've gotten stronger, Mia. I've eaten quite a few worms in my lifetime, so I'm a lot heavier than I used to be. Oof. And uh, 
Dewdrop goes off and says goodbye. And Mia says, Dewdrop is right. I am stronger than I used to be. The only person I need to compete with is myself and try to do better than I did yesterday. Oh, and Mia looks encouraged. That's an important thing for all of us to remember, right? And Dewdrop comes up on Newton. Having trouble writing the song? No matter what I try, it just sounds wrong. As soon as I start playing, I worry it won't be all that good. Hmm. Sometimes I get stuck for ideas for my cheerleading routines too. So then I just wait and listen like this. And then it comes out like this. So I should just relax and play what I feel instead of trying so hard? <sighs> okay. Oh, and look, the music is coming out. Do you see the music notes coming out in the pink lines? Oh, that looks like it's a very pretty song. Hmm. Looks like Dewdrop smells something. Do you see that uh, line coming up to Dewdrop's nose? And he comes up. Sorry we can't chat much today, Dewdrop. We're running out of time. We keep changing the recipe, but we're worried people won't like it. I will bravely volunteer to lay my life on the line and taste test for you. <laughs> Wait, that's just a boring old stew. But Dewdrop takes a bite. This is probably the best thing I have ever tasted. Mmm, delicious. And the minnows huddle up and say, we're never going to please everyone. So maybe we should focus on making food that makes us happy. Oh, look at that. That's a good idea. I should remember that too. <laughs> at the sports fair today, it's the day of the sports fair. Look at that. The crowds in the stands, everyone's looking happy and excited to compete. Let's see what happens. Okay, here goes Newton. Everyone's excited. This song expresses how I feel about seeing everyone having fun at the sports fair. I hope you all enjoy it. Oh, and it looks like they are. It looks like the lines of the beautiful song are coming out and the crowd likes it. Even there's a lobster back there. <laughs> now it's time for Mia to compete. And she's up and Dewdrop is cheering her on. Go Mia. Mia, it's your turn now. Oh, so she bends down and she heaves the rock. And the rock goes over the heads and thud. And look, she won a medal, the new personal best. That means she threw it farther than she's ever thrown it before. And that was the important thing, right? Good job, Mia. And it looks like the smells are wafting through the sports fair and everyone makes their way over to the food tent. The minnows are there. Hi, Dewdrop. Actually, we made something special for you. Mia and Newman are having a picnic. Why don't you go find them? There they are. This is to say thank you for helping us out and reminding us of what's important. So Dewdrop looks in the basket, not sure what to find. <gasps> worm pie! Axolotls love worms. This is the best day ever, I think. Aw, oh, the end. So the friends are having a little picnic with yummy treats. I hope you enjoyed this story, and I hope you enjoyed seeing the view um, from further out this time so you could see a lot of the panels and if you are curious about axolotls and what they are it says here in the end 
that axolotls live in water for their whole life. They have no teeth. They can regrow parts of their bodies if they get hurt, and they love to eat worms and anything else that fits in their mouth. <laughs> and then we can learn about Mia. Mia is a yellow-bellied slider, which is a type of turtle. And here are some facts about turtles. Turtles lay eggs. They have hard shells to protect them. And most turtles can hide inside their shell if they're in danger. Turtles like to dry out their shell with a nice afternoon of sunbathing. And the largest turtle is the leatherback sea turtle, which can weigh over 2,000, not 100, 2,000 pounds. Wow. And here's Newman the Newt. I, I might have called him Newton earlier, but he's Newman. <laughs> and uh, Newman is a young Newt, so he still has gills to breathe underwater. And here are some facts about Newts. They live in the water when they are young and on land when they are older. They can be lots of different colors, including bright colors like orange or red. They can sometimes make a poison in their skin to protect them from being eaten and they have flown on missions to outer space. I feel like I need to look that up. That sounds pretty interesting. And then lastly, the cooks. The cooks are minnows. And some facts about minnows. They are the largest freshwater fish family in the world with thousands of different species. They're usually very small and they're often used for bait and fishing. They can be very picky eaters using taste and touch to figure out whether they want to eat something. So that makes sense why these minnows were cooks. They're probably very good cooks. All right, the end. Thanks for watching today and we hope you join us next time for another Graphic Novels Out Loud. Bye-bye.